गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग नमस्ते सलाम वालेकुम सत श्री अकाल वनकम राइट फ्रॉम विच एवर लोकेशन यू आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो फ्रॉम वेर एवर यू आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो सो वट आर बी डिस्कसिंग टूडे ऑन ऑन क्वेस्ट यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट डेव ऑप्स राइट सो माई गोल इज दैट इन दिस कमिंग टेन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स राइट यू नो लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट प्रॉब्लम डज डेव ऑप्स एक्चुअली ट्राई टू सॉल्व वॉट आर दोज थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट पिलर्स यू नो द पी पी टी दैट इज द फिलोसफिकल uh process you know the the process by itself and the tools right so the three pillars we'll try to discuss right and uh, let us try to put down a proper definition on devops and very quickly guys uh, in the coming next month you know i'm going to go and take hands on training on azure devops so in case if you're interested the links are given down below so first what we'll do is let us try to understand what problem does devops actually try to solve and then we will go through the three important pillars so let us get started when we talk about software development we can categorize the stakeholders into three major areas so the first one we will say is the dev team the dev team who actually builds the software then we have the operations team which actually uh installs this software uh helps the end user to understand the software monitors and so on and then finally the most important person is the end user right so anyone out there you know who is involved in software development right he will be belonging to one of these teams right so what does the dev team do right the dev team actually goes and plans so he creates a plan and says that what do we, what do we need to deliver what is the timeline and so on he goes and he executes this plan so basically he goes and he develops he executes this plan a proper testing is done and then finally a release is given to be installed at the end user's premise what does the operation team does the operation team actually takes this release installs it right and operates it you know helps the end user to understand the software you know if there are any issues with the software you know tries to resolve it and monitors it so basically it is the collaboration of the dev and the operations team uh, which actually makes a software live you know from the end user perspective right now what happens in real time in real time what happens is if there are any issues uh, in the go live you know for example when the operations teams actually install the software and something is not configured properly right the the software crashes or there is a issue with the software they start blaming the dev team right so there is a blame game which goes on and also vice versa the dev team also says no like we gave you the release notes you did not read it properly you did not install it right they also go and uh, blame the operations team and that's what exactly devops tries to solve as the name says dev plus operations that is devops it says that these two teams you know rather than working in silos they should work hand to hand they should work together they should work like one team and try to resolve the problem right so devops you know actually involves three things and we can call it as p p and t so it has actually three steps you know which are involved in, into it one is the first p uh which talks about the philosophy right the second p is the process and the last p is the tools right and it it goes like you know step by step it is not that you directly start with the tools right the first important thing is that we have to agree philosophically when i say we means the dev team right and the operations team have to agree philosophically that we both have to work together we don't we shouldn't be blaming each other if there is a problem with the release right let the dev team come and install the software let them show you know how to install it if the operations team is having a problem right understanding something let them go to the devs room and say that okay this is my problem so the first important thing here is 
the philosophy that the developer, the development team and operation teams are not two different entities, but they are one entity. They should sit close to each other. They should work close with each other and they should not be doing the blame game. So that is the first step. Philosophically agreeing that these two are not different departments. So now once we have agreed philosophically, right, the next step is the process. So rather than going and doing this blame game, right, we should have a process, you know, to capture the issues, right? So in other words, you know, if there is a problem during the operations, what has to be done, right? So if there is a problem during the operations, you know, when they're monitoring it, give this as a feedback to the plan. The operations teams actually should be made to sit in the planning meetings of the dev team. They should be heard, right? You know, what issues do they face in real time? What are the issues of the customer, right? And they should become a part of the plan that that should be prioritized and it should be ensured that the issue is fixed for the next release. Also, while the release is happening, right, the dev team should be hand on hand uh, with the operations team, you know, to make sure that the installation is successful, right? So a process has to be established. Now this process uh, can be anything, you know, it can be saying that, you know, once, you know, if there is an issue, you go ahead and you log it into GitHub. Must be while you are, re you are making a release note, you say, okay, release out a PDF document or a video or a training plan, you're saying that how the installation should happen. If there are escalations happening out here, how the dev team can proactively participate in it and so on, right? So there should be some kind of a process which is involved, you know, so that this communication, this cross communication, this thing, you know, works smoothly, right? So that is the next step. So one is we first agreed philosophically and then we talked about the process. And the last one is the tools. So we say, okay, like, you know, the process is now established. If there is an issue, this should be done. If there is an issue during the go live, you know, this should be done and so on, right? So tools, you know, you'll say that, okay, for the planning, you know, probably we'll use TFS, probably we'll use GitHub, you know, you start talking about the tools, right? You say, okay, while doing testing, we will use some kind of an automation testing tool. Uh, we will, while we're making the release, you know, rather than having the release manually, uh, let us try to use, you know, some kind of an automation out here to release it, right? And so on, right? So basically, now what you do is that for each one of these processes out here, you try to use tools and you try to automate it, right? So DevOps is nothing but it is the combination of three things philosophically agreeing that these two teams should not work in silos, they should work together, establishing a process of how the team should give feedback to each other, and finally, you know, having automation, right? Providing automation for each one of these things out here so that everything works more smoothly. Also, I would like to make a point here, what is not DevOps? At least personally, uh, you know, there are, a lot of myths out there and I personally don't agree to some of those myths out there. Uh, first thing I feel that DevOps is not a position. I see in a lot of job profile, you know, they say that we want a DevOps engineer. So I don't understand what is, what exactly is it, right? Second, I don't, I don't think that DevOps is an architecture. It is not something, you know, which has very, it's not about source code, right? It is not about architecture out there. Uh, it is about how these two teams, you know, should work in a connected way, right? DevOps is not about high-end tool sets and automation, right? So DevOps is a combination of this P, P, T. The first important P for me, which is very important is the philosophy that we have to work together, right? Period. Once, you know, this is established, right? The other things are easy. You know, it is very sad, actually, if you ask me personally, it is very sad to even name these two teams differently, uh, differently saying that they are dev and operations. I think the mistake stems from there that we feel that these two departments are different, right? So uh, if we can just combine these two departments and say that we are just IT team, I think that that makes a lot of sense, right? So first is the philosophical approach. And after that, yes, we will need process, we will need tools to automate and so on. Now, said and done, you know, there is no standard definition of DevOps. 
so many developers you know think uh, different ways or uh, many managers out there and people who work in it they think different thing about devops right so in case you are thinking something different about devops please write down on the youtube comment that i think that devops is this right so like i how i gave up an understanding saying that devops is a combination of the p p and the t if you think no like for me devops is this one thing or for me devops is this other thing right you can please put down in the comments it will not only help me but it will also help the community to understand devops well right and from that perspective you know we are also having a training which is going to start from the next month and this training is on azure devops right so um, in this training you know my goal is to uh, help you understand that how we can use the azure tool set you know to create uh the whole automation of devops right so in this you know what we'll do is we'll try to understand you know what exactly is devops right we'll create a simple mvc project uh and do the automation deployment and testing and everything through azure devops we'll try to understand yaml you know yaml is uh, one of those uh, languages out there which is used to create a process of devops we we'll look into how to do unit testing with devops as a part of the cycle right i uh, will look into instrumentation strategy we we'll look into github actions azure pipelines package management strategy security and compliance and many other things right so we are starting this training uh, you know next month right so say, stay tuned and uh, that brings us to the end of this session so thank you very much uh, i hope that uh, this small video out here was intended to make you understand devops you know at this moment i'm not i'm not going into how to do devops because there are many ways of doing devops right you can use amazon tools you can use azure tools you can have your own combination right so that is a different part of the story but my goal here was that in this 10 minutes of video to try to unleash the main intention of devops so thank you very much happy learning happy job hunting thank you